We're here at the Watkins Glen International for the fourth race in the Reebok Cup Series Season 2. The Cheese at 355 at the Glen. Now let's take a look at the starting lineup. In row 1, we have the 14 of Tony Stewart and the 2 of Brad Keselowski. Starting off in row 2, we have the 18 of Kyle Busch and the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. Starting in row 3, we have the 16 car of Greg Biffle and the 15 of Clint Boyer. Starting in row 4, we have the 9 of Marcus Ambrose and the 11 of Denny Hamlin. Rolling off in row 5, we have the 20 of Matt Kenseth and the 99 of Carl Edwards. Starting in row 6, we have the 88 car of Dale Earnhardt Jr. and the 5 car of Casey Kane. And in row 7, we have the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and the 1 of Jamie McMurray. Rounding out, and rounding out the field in row 8, we have the 21 car of Trevor Bain. So the field is coming out of the out of the final turn. We're green flag racing here in Watkins Glen. Kyle Busch gets a great jump on the restart and will take the lead early. Greg Biffle moving up already. Can't, Kyle Busch pulling away from Tony Stewart now. It's because he's going to make a move on Biffle for third. Kyle Busch leads him through the inner loop and he'll lead another lap here. A huge lap battle back in the pack. Kyle Busch pulling away from Tony Stewart, and we've got a crash. It's a 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. who goes around to turn one. Yeah, let's take another look. Looks like going here into turn one, McMurray gets into him and sends him around. McMurray down pit road with some damage. We're going to get back underway now on lap four. Kyle Busch going to get a lead on the restart. He's going to get a good jump because Lossie's going to take second. Now Tony Stewart's going to go for second. We've got another battle back in the pack. Stewart's going to take second, and now he's looking for the lead. He's not going to get it as Kyle Busch blocks him. Four laps to go now. Ambrose looking for third on Brad Keselowski now. And now he's going to go for second, but he's not going to be able to make it. Three laps to go. Kyle Busch is the leader. Tony Stewart's running second, and Marcus Ambrose third. So, Kyle Busch leads another lap. Now two laps to go. Ambrose will take second away. And now he's all over the back bumper of Kyle Busch. White flag in the air now for Kyle Busch. Ambrose makes a move. Oh, and he turns him. Kyle Busch is around, and Ambrose is in the clear. Oh, and he blows up. Brad Keselowski is going to take the victory here in Watkins Glen. Brad Keselowski wins one of the craziest finishes I've ever seen. As both the leaders go around on the final lap. Here's a look at the results. Brad Keselowski comes home with a victory. Clint Boyer and Tony Stewart second and third. Both of those two drivers really needed these finishes. Denny Hamlin was the points leader coming in. He should still be the points leader there in fifth. Trevor Bain moves up to tenth on the final lap at Mayhem. Kyle Busch finishes twelfth. Marcus Ambrose winds up 13th. McMurray never recovers after that early crash. Sinhouse Jr. never returned to the race. So Denny Hamlin has now clinched a spot in the chase. And Biffle and Kozlowski, they seem to be locked in. And now Stewart, Edwards, Kenseth, Johnson, Boyer, they're all right there for this chase. As well as Bush and Stenhouse Jr., they could still easily make it in. Now McMurray and Ambrose, they're on the outside looking in. It's still close for them, but Trevor Bain is eliminated. Race 5 is from Richmond, the last race until the chase.